Boris Johnson's the candidate the party goes to for its adrenaline fix, described to me by one MP as a four-year ride on a big dipper. I understand he has the backing of Rupert Murdoch, and that may count for a lot. But he's also been described by some in his own party as, I quote, a little bit grubby, his self-interest never too far from the surface. Don't be surprised if you see a Stop Boris campaign gathering a bit of momentum too. Heidi Allen is one of those backing anyone but. For me, it is clear that it was a leadership bid for Boris. You know, even as recent as February, I think he was saying that a Brexit vote would cause uncertainty for business and government shouldn't be distracted with these things. So it seemed very obvious to me that this was about his desire to be leader rather than putting the country first. And when a man is leading a campaign that stands in front of a great red bus that says £350 million extra for the NHS and then says, well, actually, maybe not, that does not set us on the right path to changing that relationship that we have with voters. So you don't think people can trust Boris? I would ask them to consider whether he has the qualities that they want in a leader. And, you know, looking for that transparency and having people trust us again. My inbox is in meltdown, predominantly people who wanted to remain, but also some people who did vote to leave and feel duped and felt that they were sold a pup. And I know in politics, you know, you're, we're salespeople, you're buying, do you trust our manifesto? Do you trust the things that we're saying to you? And I think on this occasion, it's just gone too far. And he stood in front of that campaign. And for that reason, I think people will have lost faith in him. She's not the only one with her doubts about Boris Johnson. This speech was uploaded onto the internet's biggest porn site, labelling him Britain's dumbest blonde.